The downward doggy style, my new favorite. Oh, oh, oh. I really hate that she saw that. <laughs> Marriage is all about compromises. Sometimes you're on the side of the compromise that gets a little bit of a win. Sometimes you're on the side that takes a little bit of a loss. Today, I'm on the losing end of the compromise. Here's the thing, it's not my love of reading that's gotten me in trouble here, it's my love of collecting. I read for 30 minutes every single day, which ends up being about 24 books a year. That wouldn't be a problem if I went to the library, but I love bookstores and I love collecting books. At this point, I've got a few hundred books, but I've also only got a few hundred square foot in this condo. It's finally happened. I've exhausted all the book storage space. I tried buying some floating bookshelves, but if I get any more, the walls are gonna look cluttered. Then I started storing books behind other books on the back of my bookshelves. But to be honest, it doesn't look great, and uh, all the extra weight from the books, it's starting to affect the integrity of the bookshelf. I keep buying books, but I'm all out of storage. So my wife finally gave me a compromise. I can either get rich enough that we can afford a bigger place where I can get more bookshelves, or every time I buy a new book, I have to get rid of an old one. And well, money's a tough thing to find nowadays, so that only leaves me one option. Kidding. Come on, I never throw books away. Let's go for a walk and I'll show you in Chicago a good place to go donate your books. So these are the little free libraries. Uh, it's these cool little boxes that they have around the city. It's put on by a nonprofit called Little Free Library. They sell kits where you can buy them and set these up. You can also build your own and just register them on their website. Uh, to me, it's the best place to in Chicago to go donate books. They're all around the city. They're all around the world. They're in a bunch of different countries. They're definitely, there's like, like, like 100,000 of them or something like that in the U.S. It's crazy. Uh, but you can take a book, leave a book type of deal. I love it. I walk by these all the time. If I see something I want, I feel like I can snag them because I donate a ton. So... It's a great place to leave books that you don't want anymore. But all right, I got an event to go to with old Shawnee boy. Gonna meet up for some pre-drinks with uh, with Sean, Allie, Welby, his sister and brother-in-law are in town, and then my buddy Tyler Chickenelli is gonna be there. So we're gonna go meet at a place called Vinny's, Vinny's Pizza and Bar. I, I've never met there, but it's close to Union Station, which is where the event is that we're going to drink at today. So let's uh, let's let's get cruising to the let's get cruising to the boozing. <laughs> What's up, man? For Corey? How you doing, doing well. How are you today? Who gives a fuck about an ox with a comma? All right, man. Thanks for that, bud. Yeah, you, yeah, for sure, man. Have a good one. little Malort move. Thanks to Tyler. We got a Tyler, Sean, and Corey Malort slam coming. <laughs> Malort slam. I like that. This is the dumbest thing. This is so stupid we're doing this. Like, I love it, but I'm so mad at you. Basically called me a pussy. <laughs> Alright, a little Malort action. You ever try to huff this? Oh my god. Oh, that's a good bottle. No. No, that wasn't. That's, that's one of the better ones I've had. It's not bad at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> all right, time to go to the event. Beer Under Glass Union Station. Got to slam the high life and uh, let's go drink more beers. Hello. Doing well? How are you? 
it's been too long. The line skip and media pass is clutch. Also, I was telling Sean, and he doesn't, I don't think he knows about it. Anybody else about the Untouchables scene with the baby and Kevin Castor and Andy Garcia? It's like one of the greatest scenes in cinema history. But let me get to the point, let's roll. Another joy and turn the radio loud. I'm too alone. If you've never been to Union Station, it is beautiful. I mean, this whole place is. It's, it's pretty gorgeous. The crew! The Midwest crew! This just started we're already fucked up. That, dude, we went pre game. <laughs> the dudes we just ran into. Midwest Brew Review. Some of our uh, favorite, favorite folks in the YouTube game. Great, great guys. Go subscribe to their channel if you uh, are not already. All right, me and Sean are gonna start start getting to the brews. See, uh, see how many we can crank through. I woke up in between memory and the dream. We're we're being told by the mid the Midwest Brew Review crew that there's a beer here that's basically what is it? What's the uh, the combination. So the guy sold it as Miller High Life and Coors Banquet if it had a baby. Does, does anything sound more Corey Wagner than that? I, I gotta try it. You don't know how it feels. You don't know how it feels to be me. So let's get to the point, let's roll another joint, let's head on down the road to somewhere, I gotta go, you don't know. Feeling nice and buzzed, that means I need some food to slop up some of the booze, you know what that means, go check the number six and cheese channel out for the food review video. I wish you guys could smell it. I mean, we do have, it smells delicious over here. So, we're gonna go eat some food. Check out that video number six of cheese. This is a bacon sausage, naturally encased. Mmm, yeah. Oh, bro. You take a bite of that, that is substantial. Mmm. This is actually really, really, really good. This is so good. I love the fact you get the spicy dog and the sauce. That Big Fork food was unbelievable. If you didn't watch that video, you're a fool. That's, dude, I thought it was gonna be an event food where it's just kind of average. That was unreal. Like, really, really, really good. Go check that video out if you haven't. Big Fork, fire. All right, back to the drinking. Oh, you don't know how it feels. You don't know. Check out the VIP space. Apparently, the VIP space you can get cans of beer. Much better than these little, uh, little toddler glasses we got. I gave Welby the media pass, hoping that the camera's gonna get me in, trying to sneak, sneak her boys in. So we'll, we'll see how it works. VIP room coming up. Oh, you don't know how it feels. Totally worked. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool space. Like, it's 
pretty sick, but the main thing is just getting the cans of beer for free is uh, it's a pretty fire move. Lawnmower Lager by Mad Hatchet. I honestly, I look for lager and then go off of can design. I'm a guy who judges books by their cover. But this is, I mean, it's tasty. It's a great lager. Mad Hatchet, killing it. bar here soon. Get some food, get some drinks, keep the party rolling. Let's go. This is it. This is not what I expected. This is like an airport bar. Thanks for the ride. You're welcome, Curry. You take care. Yeah, have yourself a good rest of the night. All right, that's it for. Sorry, the lighting's a little weird. I got these railings here, dude. What a day. Beer under glass, awesome. Having drinks with Welby. We had some Tyler action. The whole crew. Super fun time. All I can say was that was a blast. Next week, another Chicago video. Like and subscribe. Peace. <laughs>